And if people really understood that, I mean, a hundred percent, I feel like uh, when I talk about consumers and producers in the market, when you st- when you put your producer hat on, you're like, man, they are killing it. How many businesses do you have right now? I would say technically six. I would say yeah. technically six that I'm either full ownership in and have staff hired out or mm-hmm. contractors or VAs hired out. But I would say six. How do you find the, the balance? You know what? What's funny is I would tell people this bit like most people who start businesses are creative, but mm-hmm. businesses are very boring and very routine and very seasonal. Um, and I, I know this drives people crazy, but in all my classes, I teach people, if you can break your business down into four seasons, it'll save you so much headache. So you got January through March, um, April to June, uh, July to what, about uh, September, and then October to November, right? So you break it down those, 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 you can do that for any business, any business. If it's, if it's, if you're a lawn care, if you're in Texas, you got 10 months of business you can do. There's only a two month area in Texas where it's, it's down. And even in those two months, you can do leaf, you can clean up, you know, yards for the leaf repair and cleaning up gutters, drains. You can do all kinds of stuff, tree trimming because it's winter time. Um, but it's all, it's always seasonal. If it's e-commerce, the hottest time for e-commerce is a quarter four. And let's say you're in fitness, your hottest quarter is quarter one and quarter four. Um, why quarter one? Quarter one, is, and really for fitness, is quarter one and quarter two. Quarter one is new me, new new yeah. new year, new me. I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna buy this planner. I'm gonna buy this fitness book. I'm gonna buy all these e- cookbooks, these ebooks. I'm gonna buy all this crap and don't implement none of it. Right. Right. <laughs> right before spring break, which is like uh, April, May, June. Like, oh man, we gotta get these. You know, all this stuff to get in shape. And so, even if you break it down to like a little karate school, right? I drove by this karate school. Last year, they had a gangbuster year because parents were tired of the kids being stuffed in the house all day. The kids needed to get the energy out. And as long as they wore a little mask, those parents didn't care. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So this karate place was like, hey, need a place for your kids to get that energy out. Like, like it just, it fit, right? So the kids, you know, and even the marketing and the posters, the karate place had self-defense. Don't let bullies take over your child. So they even got a poster so that every time when it's August to September, I see that poster for the get your kids self-defense up, right? Mm-hmm. Then in the summer, it's like, get the energy after kids. And then in the spring, it's like, get, get your kids in shape. So it's always cyclical. And if people really understood that, I mean, 100%, I feel like um, when I talk about consumers and producers in the market, when you st- when you put your producer hat on, you're like, man, they are killing it, right? In America, they sell all year long. Um non-stop right so even i'm trying to think of another way to say it let's just let's just run through the month right so what goes on october november december halloween thanksgiving halloween christmas. thanksgiving christmas so you're yep. completely wrapped up in hallmark movies and decorating your house and mm-hmm. get your fall fall pumpkins fall apples all that stuff right mm-hmm. well in those months that's the number one time frame for tax land sales tax deed sales super tuesday sales and so people who are producers are buying up tax liens because the person who, yeah, they owe that tax bill, what's on their mind? Well, I got to give my kids a good Halloween. I got to give my family a good Thanksgiving. I got to fly home for Thanksgiving. Oh, I better take my week off for Christmas. I got to go back to Christmas, you know? And so they already cut themselves out of fourth quarter. And mm-hmm. I even tell people this, when I do my uh, YouTube, I already know fourth quarter, nobody's listening. So I just start, I just talk about whatever I want in fourth quarter. I just talk about getting ready for the next year. That's really what I talk about. Mm-hmm. Then let's go back over to quarter quarter one, January, February, March. I sell planners. I talk about the new year, getting yourself in courses, getting yourself trained up. What are some things you can be applying yourself to? Um, I book uh, masterminds quarter two in the summer because people maybe the year has been sluggish. They didn't start it off like they wanted, but now they're in quarter two. They really want to. I'm almost halfway through the year. Let me get the year through right, right? And then that midsummer slow drag. I'm gonna talk to you about. Getting your getting your kids ready and getting you ready for the fall, right? So it, it just happens over and over again, the mm-hmm. same cyclical patterns. Whether it's in fitness, whether it's in um, YouTube, whether it's in even if you even look at the relationship channels, they go crazy in the winter time because people are at home alone, bored of oh, relationships, and then they're watching that stuff on YouTube. Well, then the spring happens, and now they're in this spring mode of where I'm gonna get somebody by Valentine's Day. Well, then they don't get somebody by Valentine's Day. So then they got to use all their time in between there to get their summer body ready so they can be summer hot. Hot girl, summer, hot boy, summer, right? 
So even in every every dynamic you can sell, whether right. it's I mean, I've seen relationship books sell off the sell off the livers in the summer and the spring, right? Mm. Um, all last year there was like uh, people selling activity books and like activity books for couples, activity books for children, activity books for spring, fall. I mean, you name it. So again, once you understand the patterns of actually running a business, that business is cyclical, and it will always be that way. You immediately change your mindset. Of like, okay, what can I sell? When can I sell it? Okay, why would I sell it at this time frame? And you could almost put some of this stuff on autopilot, right? Even in the health and fitness, right? The health and fitness, you know, even on the detox side, holidays, let's detox for the holidays. Oh, springtime, let's detox for springtime. Oh, about to go on that trip, let's detox for that. You know, they really play up on people because they know it's so hard for people to change their schedules and their systems that they just they just keep racking it up.